It is the business of some of us to think about the businesses of others, about how companies are run and what men need to know to run them better. In businesses large and small, one of the greatest problems is getting the facts and figures for making daily decisions. So we thought about creating a new kind of electronic machine to keep business accounts up to date and make them available, not monthly nor even daily, but immediately. Such a machine would, for the first time, provide management with perpetually current business records. To develop this idea into a working computer required the skills of accountants and artists, of chemists and clerks, engineers and electricians, stenographers and salesmen, all of whom had to be directed through the complex patterns of research and development, planning and production. How such patterns of thinking and working led to the creation of a new machine for business was the search that is the story of this motion picture. The administrative pattern was set in 1951. After top management decided to build a new computer, we agreed to begin work in a state noted for rapid progress in electronics, California, where we had long been established in San Jose, south of San Francisco. The senior engineer we sent out arrived ready to begin searching for the trained minds he would need on his staff. His coming had been planned weeks ahead. On the way, he learned that everything was ready to go at the rented store that had been converted into a research laboratory. And there our search started in San Jose one morning early in 1952. Our research plans took shape as we began interviewing graduates of West Coast engineering schools. Each man selected was ready to explore new paths with us, for we were starting off something like a bird in a blizzard. Only ours was a paper blizzard. The piles of papers encountered by our research teams and business filing rooms. Everywhere, Endless rows of filing cabinets presented the same problem, each drawer packed with records that our researchers saw needed constant updating, checking, and cross-filing. Records that were called for time and again by people needing current information. A close study of the problem made it clear that filing systems perform three basic functions. Storing records, processing them, and reporting the results. How these three jobs could be done instantly was the question research had to answer. We thought long, sometimes impatiently, sometimes patiently while relaxing in the evening. All possibilities were discussed in the search for new ways to record as much business data as is stored on the magnetic tape unreeling through electronic computers. Scanning tape to find a single fact takes time, unlike finding a place on a record. By covering a disk with magnetic paint, research found a way to store quantities of data on an open surface, where any item could be filed or found instantly by a direct access arm. This was a new concept in machine accounting. With it, the initial research was over. Engineering a working machine was a job for product development. Our pattern in development is always one of refining concepts, like writing new specifications for a dependable recording head. 
after engineering it down to size. Then there was also a question about arranging the discs. A horizontal arrangement was tried first, but this raised difficulties in moving the recording arm freely, as well as the matter of fitting such a machine through a doorway. Well, if a horizontal arrangement doesn't work, then maybe a vertical stack will. And it did. Even getting a smooth coat of magnetic paint on the discs presented problems. Dipping, brushing, and spraying had all been tried, but we were still plagued by bubbles and pinholes. Finally, someone tried pouring the paint out of a cup. The disc painted itself. With the first horizontal model developed, the product planners were called in to discuss the principles of the machine, the first reliable method for instantly filing or finding the recorded information needed to make decisions. What more should the machine do? That was up to the product planners. Going back to our own area, we began to work out plans for making the machine more useful. Our search was for a more versatile system to speed the flow of information through a business. After weeks of study, we sent our first proposals back to the development group for engineering tests. It was up to us to make the plans work, but the green light on our test scope doesn't always signal go. A machine that would do everything for everybody would be priced out of the market. We had to find out what the planners needed most. Over in planning, we were now in a position to state exactly the requirements of customers for storage capacity, speed, and versatility. The time had come for a final meeting with product development. We were ready in development. It didn't take long to agree that a working model could now be built. To design and build the prototype machine took 300,000 working hours. It was named RAMAC, for Random Access Method of Accounting and Control. The first electronic computer able to keep business records up to date and make them instantly available. For the first time, management need only request the current status of any account. The operator types in the inquiry, and Ramac types out the answer. Each Ramac record file contains five million characters of information. This file unit may be connected to other computers to provide even larger warehouses for facts. To engineer RAMAC for assembly line production meant rechecking every specification. From the day testing began, we in production made 1,400 improvements, ranging from moving a control button to a more convenient location to simplifying the assembly of the discs. As output increased, quality standards had to be maintained. Hundreds of magnetic disks had to be tested daily on banks of oscilloscopes. All departments were growing and growing fast. Management had the new plant design for mass production needed to meet the mounting backlog of orders. We built it in San Jose a few miles from where our search began. All manufacturing is housed under one roof. New facilities have created new employment opportunities. The architectural design is functional. For example, the reserve water supply is stored in pools instead of tanks. Here is the research laboratory, 
built to continue the search begun in a rented store in 1952. Within those walls, scientists are seeking new ways of increasing RAMAC's storage capacity and versatility. Our own employees come to the educational center to learn to put RAMAC to work. Customers send hundreds of their employees here to learn this new philosophy of electronic record keeping. Like other stars from California, RAMAC went on tour making personal appearances and attracting crowds of prospects and customers in leading cities across the country. They saw the machines speed the flow of business information, checking credit ratings, writing orders, taking inventories, adding accounts, figuring commissions. A machine that will keep the records of a business always current and instantly available. RAMAC was developed by IBM after a search that lasted five years. A search that is not ended, nor will it be, so long as men need ever more powerful machines to extend the farthest reaches of the human mind.